welcome back to another video. In this video I'm just doing some inky designs. Um, I think I'll show you three in this video. I don't really like the last one to be fair um, with the spots but I put it in the thumbnail picture so I felt like I had to include it in the video so there you go. But um, the first one I'm just doing some flowers within the inkies and then the second one is just a bit of a a marbly type effect and the last one is just really really simple just throw some inkies on and put some dots on top so i'm not going to talk for much of this because it is obviously pretty self-explanatory i'm showing you exactly what i'm doing so if i feel like i need to explain then i will and i will just let you know what products i'm using and stuff like that if i don't show them before doing the design so this is just the red pink and yellow inkies the red is just the red one, not deep red, because that is a bit too dark for the design that I was going for. So just normal red, and then I'm just using one of my glitter bars brushes to just very gently blend that out just a little bit. I wasn't too bothered about it looking like absolutely perfect or anything, I just didn't want any harsh lines within it, because I'm going to be using like lines to make my design. So if there was already lines there, then my design would have just blended in with them and it wouldn't have stood out. So... Just getting rid of any harsh lines and shapes and then I can go in with a detailer brush with a little tiny bit of prep and dehydrate from Magpie on it. As you can see there I just blob off onto the kitchen towel to make sure there is hardly any of my brush and then I will go in and start creating the flower petals. So to do that I usually just do a line so I put the tip of my brush where I want the petal to go to and then I will just draw a line straight down um, to the centre of where I want the flower to be. And then I will start, as you can see here, to like carve out the sides of the petal to make them a little bit wider and more of a petal shape. Make sure you don't flood the nail with prep because all your inkies will just disperse all over the place and you won't have any control over where they go. So try to work very sparingly with the ink, with the prep, sorry. So I do one petal of each flower at a time instead of doing the whole flower because I want to give it enough chance to dry because if I put some prep next to a petal too closely that's already wet they will just merge into each other so I found that doing them individually like away from each other made all the difference and was a lot easier.
so I'm just tidying up a little bit more around the areas I felt I needed to just with a really tiny tiny amount of prep on my brush so I don't flood them and then next I'm going in with the red pink coral and orange gel paints from magpie and I'm just going to outline those colors there isn't a yellow gel paint at the moment I believe it's one of those things that is difficult to make a good one of apparently so magpie I think are looking into it but I'll wait until, until they find something perfect to be able to release one so I'm using the pink coral for no I'm not I'm using the orange I think here for the yellow part and then the pink bit I use pink coral and then for the red I use red I'm really sorry if you can hear noise in the background there's a lot going on in my house right now my dad's on his guitar my neighbors are mowing the lawn <laughs> there's a lot of noise going on um but hopefully you can still hear me clear enough so i'm not really like outlining the petals perfectly and making sure that i'm exactly right i'm just doing it really loosely and i'm not making sure that it's all full coverage or anything like that or thin or thick and stuff like that i'm just just doing it really quickly i'm using a bqan brush from well you can get it from amazon but i actually bought this from aliexpress about six months ago um they've got really popular now which is really good because they are amazing brushes um but yeah you can get them in sets of three on amazon now they are a little bit more expensive that way obviously than if you buy from aliexpress but it stops you having to wait for them for like two months so it's a bonus i suppose so when i've finished that i'm just showing you here what it looked like and i'm going with the silver ink uh, silver gel paint and white gel paint the white i'm just going to outline again those petals but a larger scale this time with a striper brush and then i'm going to just put some dots of silver in the middle of the petals as you can see i'm just doing it really nice and thin not in a specific way just in between the petals both sides and that's it Okay, so that's that design, and now we're on to the next one. This is my absolute favourite. It's so easy, but looks so effective, especially in blue. So I'm going in here with Magpie's Blue Inky, just the blue, because we're going to be using both shades of their blues at the moment. So this is the blue, and then I'll be going in with the deep blue. So I'm just creating my shape with that, and then in the middle of that, I'm using the deep blue. So we've got the lighter one on the outside, and then the deep one on the inside. I love Magpie's inkies because you can choose whether you want them to be watercolory or whether you want them to be really opaque. So obviously if you want them watercolour you just use one coat. If you want them opaque you can build them up and do multiple coats which is really really good. It's nice to have a choice. So I'm just going in here and just spreading it out just a little bit more so it's not such a harsh line between the two blues. And then I'm just dotting on to create some texture, just a couple of shapes, like not even specific ones, just dotting the tip of my brush on and just letting it do whatever it wants and then i will go around with another brush just around the outside because the lighter blue was a little bit too wide for me i wanted it slightly slimmer so i'm just removing some of that to um, reveal more of the white around the blue and just more dots and then i'm going to make a little concoction of white inky cuticle oil and base coat and then just mix the three 
and then basically apply it onto the nail and it should create little bubbles and stuff like that and it's a really effective look on blue because it can look quite watery. Okay, so I'm just mixing that together and then I'll just slide my brush underneath it and just pick some up and place it where I want it basically and it spreads on its own so it gives more of a, a wishy-washy effect and it's got little bubbles in it as well so I'll just pop that wherever I want it, add in a little bit more white if I want some more and then there we go. So I'm basically just outlining and then I'll put a little bit through the middle as well just to blend it in. And then I think I did two coats of it. So I cured the first time and then did it again to give it a bit more depth. Okay, then all that's left to do is to top coat. I think this would look really effective in matte as well, actually. Um, so that's definitely an option. But yeah, it's just really nice. It's really difficult to capture on camera, but there's so much to it and texture and depth and stuff. It's really, really nice. The second one I'm not really going to talk through because there's not really much to say. Like you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm just using the inkies to basically create some blobs and then just a little brush to just make them blend just a little bit better and then I'm just literally putting some black dots on top so there's not really much to explain so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I'll be back soon bye